hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the. All right, what's good, Ravens fam? So I can't even say that we're feeling really. Um, yeah, my boy Marcus Peters, y'all. I've been holding back on making a video about him, possibly still becoming a Raven, but. Yeah, he's visiting the Raiders today. He's visiting the Raiders today. And y'all know how that's my dude. Like, y'all know how much I love me some MP Juice, man. But with him visiting the Raiders, from him coming, being born in Oakland, his cousin played for the Raiders, Marshawn Lynch. Will he do that as his final step in the NFL of playing for the hometown? Even though they're the Las Vegas Raiders now, but people still know them as the Oakland Raiders. Nothing's changed. The logo is still the same, but the only thing that's changed is they have Las Vegas in the front of the Raiders instead of Oakland. But will he be a Raider? Is there a possibility the Ravens can some way, somehow, get him. I know some people say, oh, I can't afford him. Would he want to re retire as a Raven? In one video, he said he found his home where he can be himself. But being himself has put him on the bad side of John Harbaugh as well. Which we already know how that in itself is interesting. How John Harbaugh put many of players in a doghouse. So is they're going to put all their faith in Rock Yassin? Cornerback, one year. Put their faith in Brandon Stevens, which is probably going to be a free agent after this year. Uh, Pepe. Or Caillou Blue. What what what, what are they going to do? I know some people, man, what, what, what Marcus Peters going to do for y'all? He can do so much. He had, that was his injury year. Me, myself, has an ACL tour before playing basketball. I didn't play good that good the previous year after that. But the one year removed, I was feeling like my old self. I know a lot of players are like that. I believe Lamar was like that. Well, I believe Lamar was when he had his injury, he was like that. But oh, just that news, y'all, they just like, man. I was sitting there thinking, what can I talk to y'all about? Talk to y'all about some Patrick Queen. Talk to y'all about some Rashad Bateman, Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely. Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards. And I was like, what can I talk to y'all about? Then I saw that news. I just was like, man, dang. That's my dude. I know a lot of people don't want him back. But that's my dude, though. Like, he brought so much dog smartness. Even Marlon Humphrey praised him occasionally over and over and over about his smartness on the field. Yes, he's had he got burnt a couple of times by taking a bait, but he also by taking a bait, by taking a guess, he also had interceptions. Not to compare him to the greatest safety of all time, Ed Reed. Ed Reed took a lot of a lot of chances that was not on the script. And we love him for it. But also, he got burnt a couple of times as well. That's just really life. That is football in itself. You take chances. You get rewards. Sometimes you take that chance. People are like, what are you doing? But if it turned out the way that person was thinking it, we will praise him. Anyway. I still hope he becomes a raven, man. I still hope he becomes a raven, y'all. That's my dude. Man, that is my dude. But anyway, be on the lookout for more videos, y'all. Um, also, also, don't forget, if you have any questions you want to ask me, put them in the comments. So 
I can make a video and answer your questions, questions from comments. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.